Welcome to EM Note Journal Club. I'm your host, James Carter. Today we're discussing a practice-changing study that could immediately impact how we manage a critical subset of stroke patients. Joining me is Dr. Amelia Koo, a leading expert in neurocritical care. Amelia, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, James. It's a pleasure to discuss this important topic. The trial we're focusing on is the Zodiac trial. Can you start by setting the stage for our listeners? What was the clinical question this study aimed to answer? Absolutely. The core question was straightforward but crucial. For adult patients with a large vessel occlusion stroke who are awaiting endovascular thrombectomy, does the head of bed position, specifically flat at zero degree versus the standard 30 degree elevation, impact their clinical course before the procedure? We're talking about a very time-sensitive window, and the goal was to see if a simple change could prevent early neurologic worsening. The trial design itself is an important aspect of a study's reliability. What can you tell us about how the Zodiac trial was conducted, and what were some of its key strengths and limitations from a critical appraisal standpoint? It was a prospective, randomized, multi-center trial, which is the gold standard for this type of question. The fact that it was randomized helps ensure that the groups were comparable, minimizing bias. A key feature was its early stopping due to a very large effect size, which is great because it means the intervention was overwhelmingly beneficial. However, a limitation is that this can sometimes lead to an overestimation of the treatment effect in the literature. The lack of blinding for the intervention itself, the head of bed position, is an unavoidable limitation but the primary outcome, which was neurologic deterioration, could be subject to some detection bias if the assessors weren't blinded, which is a consideration we have to make. However, more objective outcomes like pneumonia and mortality are not susceptible to that kind of bias. Let's get to the findings. The results for the primary outcome were quite striking. Can you walk us through what the researchers discovered regarding early neurologic deterioration? The findings were dramatic. The study showed a statistically significant and clinically very large reduction in early neurologic deterioration in the flat zero-degree head of bed group. Only 2.2% of patients in the flat group experienced worsening compared to a staggering 55.3% in the 30-degree elevation group. This difference was highly statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.001. That's an incredible difference. Were there any safety concerns or negative trade-offs? What did the study find regarding secondary outcomes like hospital-acquired pneumonia or long-term functional status? That's an excellent question and a crucial one. A common concern with a flat position is the risk of aspiration or pneumonia. However, the study found no statistically significant difference in the rates of hospital-acquired pneumonia or three-month all-cause mortality between the two groups. There was a non-significant trend toward improved 90-day functional outcomes in the flat positioning group, but the study was underpowered to prove this definitively. The key takeaway is that the dramatic benefit in preventing neurologic decline did not come at the cost of increased harm in these specific patients. So bringing it all together, what's the overall EBM conclusion here? How should these findings inform our practice? The Zodiac trial provides strong evidence that positioning a patient with a large vessel occlusion flat at zero degree while awaiting thrombectomy is a safe, simple, and highly effective intervention to prevent early neurologic decline. The intervention is a cost-free change in clinical practice that is widely applicable. While the small sample size and early termination mean we should be cautious about the exact magnitude of the effect, the balance of evidence strongly supports this practice. The EBM rating is strong, and for our listeners, it's a practice we can and should implement immediately for these patients. Amelia, thank you for breaking down this important study for us. Your insights are invaluable. My pleasure, James. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in to EM Note Journal Club. We'll be back next time with more evidence-based discussions.